<laughs> Hello, freak bitches. I feel like we're in a very different space now with, with, with the consequences of, of misinformation. Well, we certainly are. Do you think that they're connected to what we were talking about before where you said that people would rather be electrocuted than to be alone with their thoughts? That we have gotten to this weird place with our society, with our civilization, where we've made things so easy. We've made people so soft, so dependent upon technology. We've slotted out these paths, these predetermined patterns of behavior to pe for people to follow, where they can just sort of plug into a philosophy, whether it's a right-wing one or a left-wing one, mm -hmm. with very little room for personal thought at all. Very, very little room for objective reasoning. We sort of made it easy. We babied them. I do think that it's Im imperative if you want to be a good citizen to have a varied media diet. You're not going to have a clear view of the world if all you're reading it well is on Breitbart. either on, more right. than New York Times. Right. You know, I think you have nothing against the New York Times or Breitbart, but I think you need to read many things and follow many different sorts of people on Twitter, not just because you want to troll them, but because you actually want to listen to what they have to say and take it seriously. Well the New York Times really fucked up. Where they really fucked up is where they said that they're going to after the election, they're they're going to rededicate themselves to reporting the truth. And read like what why did you say that? Like, I wish I was there. I wish I was Wait, in the office. Why? That just sends the wrong message. Well, yes. as if we weren't, weren't into yeah. the truth yes. before. Right. Right. Well, yeah. it says yeah. they were biased. Yeah. They fucked up. Yeah. I mean, like, well, they, they had the, an the idea. The truth is they were biased. See, yes. I mean, the, you're right. The you're thing right. is, it, the the enemy is is um, was so grotesque in this case that it was impossible to not have been biased seemed an abdication of responsibility. I, mean, I, I feel it myself. It's like, people... Everything I say against Trump from a Trump person sounds like mere partisan bias. There's, I mean, I've got zero connection to the Democratic Party or to, I mean, it's like, a, there's, there's no partisan bias. I mean, 100% of what I want to say about Trump does not apply to some other Republican who, who uh, is just a, stands for things that I don't, you know, policies I might not like. Um, it's completely a, a completely unique circumstance, and um, yeah. So I mean, yes, yeah, so it's true that you to read the New York Times for the longest time. It was it was reading like just it, the entire thing had become the opinion page on the you know, the Huffington Post or, or right. something. Yeah, I just feel like at this stage of our our society, there's real consequences to the infantilization, if that's actually a word, of of human beings. In our culture, we've made it very easy to just go to work and just get home and watch television and just not pay attention to anything and not read anything and not really think and and then be manipulated. I mean, I think it's 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 incredibly easy to manipulate people, mm -hmm. especially people that are aware that they don't have a varied media diet. People that are aware that they don't have a real sense of the world, and it seems daunting to try to take into consideration like. What is, what is involved in foreign policy? What is involved in dealing with Russia? What, you know, what is involved? How do you negotiate with North Korea? Fuck, it's too much. Put it in the hands of the strong man. I think this is true on both sides of the spectrum, though. Yeah, because I, I think agree. you've got folks um, uh, who, who slot into just a, 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 a media diet where they're just hearing things on the left and they're not, they're not curious about or uh, um, I guess just, just not curious about enough to hear things from a different perspective unless it's just some right-wing palooka who comes on and then right. they beat him up. Um, so I, 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 I really do think, and I think it put places, an inc and this is going to be a self-serving argument, but I do think it, it, it places increasing importance on media outlets like the one for which I work to be at really vigilant about being seen as fair arbiters of fact. Yeah, I mean, I think the consequences have never been greater for that. And Absolutely. I think the, the reason that so many people on the right, so many Trump supporters, fear feel like they're right is because it has been proven that the the media was biased and that they did get it all wrong and they were absolutely wrong when it came to who was going to win. I mean, Huffington mm. Post had some ridiculous thing where it was the night of the election, they said that Hillary had like a 98% chance of winning or something crazy like that? Well, I think, yeah, well, there were some polls that were bad. But the, the poll, like the, because I remember this because I, I, I sent out a tweet which said like, you know, bye-bye Donald or something like that. <laughs> you know, like, you know but the, the, the day of. 
but I, it, when I did that, I mean, that wasn't a prediction. I mean, the, the, the polls that I was going by, that most people were going by at that point, it was, it was like 80-20, you know, or at best 75-25 that she was going to win. Now, that's not, I mean, you, you roll dice for a few minutes, you realize tw- a 20% chance not comes nothing. up a lot. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. I mean, so I guess that's no, this is not infinitesimal odds. Plus uh, Florida. Yeah, but but so but well, you should you should tell the story about yeah. what it was like to anchor the broadcast. Yeah, but, yeah. So I was anchoring the ABC News digital coverage that night, um, and uh, you know we they they give you the exit polling. I mean, you're not supposed to report it publicly, but the exit polling that we were seeing before we went on the air late in the day really made it seem like it was going to be a Clinton landslide. And you, know, you have all these folks who say, look at the crestfallen faces of the journalists because they're so upset that Trump won. Certainly, that was not the case for the folks on our, my set. It was that it was that we didn't see it coming. We weren't prepared for it. Everything that we were seeing in terms of the math made it look like this was a Clinton victory, a shoe in It was just about just tying a ribbon around it. So when the night became long, there was just confusion uh, about what was going on. How did they get it so wrong? I, you know, it's... I, yeah, I think it actually goes back to what Sam was saying before, that people think when you see numbers like 70% odds that Clinton's going to win, 80% odds that Clinton's going to win, that, that she's definitely going to win. But th- there's room there for so, Trump to, to win. Yeah, yeah. A lot yeah. of room. Yeah, a lot of room there for Trump to win. 20% comes up yes. all the time. It's yes. Russian roulette. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, those are bad. If it's Russian roulette, those are bad yeah. odds, right? You're not going to take that. You know, you're not right. going to put a, One you bullet, know, a single bullet six in a five-chamber yeah, gun spin and spin it. Yeah. yeah. No, that's, that's deer hunter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's really good odds. So that it's you're going to get shot. I, yeah. I don't think so. It's so much about blaming the polls as it was blaming the overall tenor of the coverage, which made it seem like Clinton was inevitable. Yeah, yeah. It just it was it was so shocking. That's a hit. That's a hit. I think that we we can and should take. Yeah. We definitely. You know. I think we we weren't giving the twenty or thirty percent chance a serious enough look. <laughs> 